Because he got to get his daddy to get the if in the right place. Because this is an if issue. Well, watch the text. Jesus looks at him. Watch the text. It's right there. He, he said, now the issue is, it, it's not if I can do it. Mm -hmm. The question is, if you can believe it. Yeah, see that? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's the problem. And, and I, I, I come by to witness to you that God can move mountains when you, you know, only believe it. Now, now, if you have the gift in the right place, everything will be all right. You see, the problem is right now, a lot of y'all not being blessed because you don't have the faith. But you do know if you got the faith, God has the power. And all God is waiting on you is to have enough faith. Jesus spoke. And then if you let me paraphrase it, I can hear Jesus say to this demon, look, you've been in that boy a long time. Yeah, but it's time to tell you the pretty house down. Jesus said, I'm about to serve you some eviction papers. And I'm coming to the eviction. You've been here long enough. And the record tells us that our Savior spoke and commanded the demon that was within the boy to come out. He didn't give him a 30 day notice. He didn't give him a 15 day notice. He told him, You better come out or you better come out now. Right now. And watch the text. The demon didn't want to go. But he heard from headquarters. <laughs> he, he didn't want to go, but he got the message from, from headquarters. And, and when heaven speaks, uh, the devils of hell got to stand at attention. And if the no demon that the demon play in your life, whatever the demons be, I don't care if they're on your job, I don't care if they're in your house, I don't care if they're in your neighborhood, Jesus will speak and the demons got to behave. The demons didn't want to come out, but it had to go. The watch this all his way out. He said, I'm going to do as much damage as I could. Yeah, yeah, he said, I can't stay here, but I'm going to tell as much as I can. And that's just like the devil. He loves to tear stuff up. He loves to disturb stuff. He loves to create havoc. He loves to devastate. But Jesus called him out. And all his way out, he hurled the boy to the ground. The boy started jerking down. Jesus just stands there looking. The boy is jerking, falling at the mouth, mouth on the ground. But you know the Lord said what he meant? And he meant what he said? Yeah. I've heard him say it back in the day, you know that old commercial when the earplugs speaks? Everybody listen to when this man from Galilee speaks? I said demons tremble. I said when God speaks, demons tremble. Man. The record tells him that the boy formed and jerked on the ground and the demon finally made his exit. And when the demon left the boy, the boy lay limp, laid there on the ground. The crowd closed in to do their inspection. And Brother Pettis, they said the boy ain't got no sign of life. They say he appeared to be dead. Yeah, look at verse 26. They say he, he's dead. He's worse off now than he was before. But they made a premature assumption. Because uh, the record then says, but Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, he moved. And that's another thing I like. He, he moves. He moves in mysterious ways. With wonders to perform. And, and he moved toward the boy and he, he lifted him by the, by the hand. Yeah, I like that because Jesus touched the boy. Yeah. And life and movement returned to the limp body of that boy. Yeah. The record tells him that he became a little animated. Yeah. He became activated and stimulated by that divine touch. Yeah. Somebody didn't get it yet. I said he became animated. Yeah. He became activated and stimulated by divine touch. I said, Jesus touched him, and he moved. Now, maybe you don't know nothing about that touch, but I know something about that touch. For the same hand that touched him touched me one day. Yeah, and when he touched you, I come by and tell you things will never be the same. 
and the record is that he took the boy by the hand and he lifted him up. I said, love lifted me. Yeah, when nothing else could help her, love lifted me. I'm posing because I, I wish I could have been there to see how the father responded to this healing. I, I wish I could have been there to witness my child being restored. I tell you what, I would have had to thank God and give him glory for his goodness. Because I want to tell you that one day he touched me. And all the joy that floods my soul. Something happened and now I know that he touched me. And now I'm old. Is there anybody here that knows the Lord will make a way somehow? Is there anybody in this house that remembers how the Lord touched you?